Hey friends, so I just made a video about uh, the best retirement and I can't get that topic off of my head. So I'm making one more video about the same topic and these are some more thoughts on that same topic. So let us eliminate Sachin Tindulkar and learn some strong from the debate. Let's just stick with it. In Sam Presa Jordan and Carl Lewis for all three of them uh, not so much for Sam for 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 let me tell you for uh, uh, Carl Lewis and Michael Jordan it was understood the signs were there that that could be the last uh, for Jordan that could be his last season for Carl Lewis it was certain that that was going to be his last Olympics and Carl Lewis in his last Olympics won the only event he qualified for in which he was not the favorite and uh, many experts uh, in the list all those guys uh, and they uh, all of them counted him out for Michael Jordan uh, the, the, the signs were there because uh, that was his last year and then uh, many other players on that great uh, Bulls team uh, were on their last con con contract uh, also Scott Pippen was his, his, you know he's part of uh, the championships and he was also on his last contract uh, Rodman was get going out so even though Bulls were still the favorites they had some challengers uh, like Reggie Miller's and Pacers they gave him good fight but uh, Jordan pulled his team through and then in uh, the final series and they win very convincingly against uh, Jazz so now I'm thinking about it uh, Jordan's uh, last championship he was still uh, uh, the favorite his team was still the favorite he was still the best player uh, and he went out on top Carl Lewis went out on top but he was not at the top of his game Jordan was still uh, very close to the top of his game I don't think there was a better player in NBA then in 1998 Okay, and now Sampras. Sampras, uh, I did not realize, uh, but he was uh, dropping really fast. Not really fast, but he was uh, going, going down the rankings every month. And then he had lost it to Wimbledon in second round. I don't know if he played French Open. Uh, maybe he lost in the first round in French Open. Uh, Australian Open, I think, Safin defeated him. In the fourth round or quarter final, <laughs> so Sampras was on his way down. But there was no real sign to say that to indicate that this was going to be his last Grand Slam or his final year on the tour. And there were no retirement talks as far as I remember. Yeah, so even though he may not have been uh, the top guy there were no retirement plans and uh, people uh, most people many experts believe that he still had a couple of grand slams in him because he was making deep runs in US Open in 2000 he went to final in 2001 he went to final so he starting of uh, 2002 US Open uh, a good result would have been expected even though his, his results during the year were not so good so even he went to the final it was no major surprise at least for me and then he played that other old man of his generation Andrea Kasi who was older than Sampras and he beat him in the four sets and then now everybody thought that uh, Sampras is back but Sam Bres never came back. So I cannot uh, admit to myself or convince myself that this is like an argument going on in, inside my head and I am just uh, saying the words uh, so that you can listen. Uh, so I cannot convince myself uh, that uh, uh, 
ಅವ್ರು ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಎರಡು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ತುಂಬ ಎಷ್ಟು ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅವ್ರು ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವುಡಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವುಡಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಫೇವ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಫೇವ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಥ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮೈಕಲ್ ಜಾರ್ಡನ್ ಐ ಡಿಸ್ಲೈಕ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆ ಬಟ್ ಐ ನಾವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದೇಟ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಅ ಡೌಟ್ ಹೀಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಯಾ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ of the year 2002 that that was going to be his last um, last year on the tour and then after winning us open he could have played few more tournaments even if he lost early that would not have mattered because uh, the last major he would have won so it was a great ending to his career the best ending uh, or like an abrupt end to his career but greatest i don't know like if nadal now nadal is Uh, on his last leg so if he says that he, uh, this will be it this year uh, and if he goes on to win like the olympic gold because now he can't win a french open and uh, if he wins the olympic gold it is still somewhat relevant now in tennis early uh, uh, tennis was not considered it was not an olympic sport and in the, in the beginning of top players like sabres never played played at olympic games he skipped olympics so but now if if ronald all wins olympic games and he's a, if he says that he, this is going to be it will be good 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 ending to his career sampras says great ending but not the best but i don't know who the, among the three players i think uh, michael jordan had dominant dominant he went out to out on top even better than carlos because carlos won that i don't think he would have won uh, uh many more jordan could have won in 1992 with that same team so these are just from my thoughts going on inside my head i'm not an expert on any sport i'm just a casual fan so if you don't agree with me please don't mind but and like my uh, comment and like my uh, video okay all right then so i will try to stop thinking about this now and make a different video next time okay okay bye